Hey guys, Fred and Sheila McCoy, Hatfield McCoy Museum and Adventures. Sheila and I are getting ready to start the adventure part. Oh, yeah. The videos will be changing from Hatfield McCoy to uh, Adventures. Mm -hmm. We uh, Sheila's behind the camera. Hi guys, hope you're having a great evening. Almost forgot you. That's all right. I'll never forget you, Willow, <laughs> Um Have a had a lot of text messages and emails, different things, uh, mostly from Marine Corps buddies. And uh, of course, the topic is this Tim Waltz. This um, Waltz, Waltz Walls, I think W A L Z. The guy running for uh, vice president with Harris, and. Um, you know, without getting into the political part, one side or the other and all this and yeah. that, uh, I, I don't think it's hard to tell where I'm at. Sheila and I are against abortion. We're for guns. We're for God, country, core, family. That's uh, that's us. Yeah. We're, we're pure Amer American. We're Americans. American. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, but we don't try to, ain't no even pushing that on everybody. Everybody's got their own choice. But uh, sure. there's, there's two sexes. All that. You, anybody that knows us knows what we believe in. But th this video is on stolen valor. Okay. Stolen valor. Now we did several videos so far on stolen valor on a Hatfield subject. The same Hatfield subject that had started the uh, rumor, the story, the tales, the lies on Hubert Bay McCoy back in 2011. And they had gone on for years and years, uh, discrediting him and slandering him, and him a World War II hero. Mm -hmm. Actually served in a war zone. We done a video on him on, on Hubert Bay McCoy. We done a video on him on Stolen Valor, where he claimed that he served in the Vietnam War. And when we started talking about this and seeing all the news coverage, you know, this reminds us a lot of of, of Rio Hatfield and Devil Ants Hatfield. Devil Ants Hatfield, I, he I heard a news story earlier where it said one of his men, one of his, this guy's men, when he was the sergeant major of that unit, his man said that he left us hanging. He left his men hanging when yeah. he quit. When he got papers to be sent to Iraq, he retired, he quit. Same way he deserted, he deserted his men. He, he at least retired from it, but same way Devil Ants did, when the, he hit the fan, he took off. Or when he thought it was going to hit the fan, he took off. He got out, got scared. There was another story on the news where they have pictures of him wearing special forces hats. He has a hat or hats with the Army Special Forces on it, like he was in the Special Forces. He, he was in the National Guard. Now listen, nothing against the National Guard. We need the National Guard. I love the National Guard. I'm not belittling the National Guard. But if you're in the National Guard, don't say you're in the Special Forces. Don't say you're in a doing this or that. Combat and has drawn outrage from many veterans. Senator J.D. Vance slammed Waltz for the comments, labeling it stolen valor garbage. He said, do not pretend to be something that you're not. I'd be ashamed if I was saying that I lied about my military service like you did. It's not that hard, guys, to tell the truth about our military backgrounds, our military careers. Some went to war zones, some didn't. Uh, you do what's dictated for you to do at the time. Uh, when I went in, 1975, Vietnam War had ended. It was over, they were bringing them out. Uh, mm -hmm. Vietnam War went from uh, something to March of 1975. I reported to Paris Island November the 3rd, 1975. So I'm not, I'm not Vietnam era, I'm not Vietnam at all. But why do we wanna, why does people have to say that? Does it matter if I would have reported to Paris Island the next day, they would have said, take off, you're going to Vietnam then I would have went to Vietnam. That's what you do in the military. You, you're you there at their leisure, at their command. This man got orders to go to Iraq and he resigned, he quit. Walt served in the Army National Guard for 24 years. 
Before he retired in 2005, Waltz never served in combat, though in 2003 he was deployed to Italy in a support position. Never in the Special Forces. He never trained with the Special Forces. He had zero deployments to any combat zone. He was never in a combat zone. You'll see him in these news articles where he says that he don't like people having access to guns that he used in war. Research. We can make sure we don't have reciprocal carry among states, and we can make sure that those weapons of war that I carried in war is the only place where those weapons are. Out. He was never in war. He was that stolen valor. That stolen valor. We'll get to that in a minute. And he's been called out for it. And he should be called out. Stolen yeah. Valor Act of 2013. It's a criminal charge now. Ooh. It's actually a criminal charge to say you served in a certain area, especially combat zones, mm -hmm. or that you had a certain rank that you didn't have. Or oh, it's, it's a crime to do that. Yeah. And especially if, if it's to better yourself, it's, if it's to get a better reputation, if it's trying to give yourself credibility. Everybody says, oh, look at there, that's a war hero. I heard them introducing themselves to these people in a restaurant. First uh, Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major so-and-so. And that's stolen valor. Man should be charged criminally. Yeah. And it says that, let's just read the law on it. Let's see what it says. Okay. Stolen Valor Act of 2013 is a federal law that makes it a crime to fraudulently claim to have received certain military awards in order to gain money, property, or other benefits. The law passed by the 113th United States Congress and signed by President Barack Obama, June 3rd, 2013, have received certain military awards. See, in those military awards, when you tell people you served in Iraq, Afghanistan, Vietnam. There's a there's a ribbon, there's a medal that goes with that. That only people that have boots on the ground will ever receive. Okay. If you didn't have boots on the ground, if you wasn't in on that soil, that land, you, you won't get that medal. So when you tell people that you served in Vietnam or you served in Iraq and you didn't, that's stolen valor. It's as simple as that. The law made it a federal misdemeanor mm. to falsely represent oneself as having received any U.S. military decoration or medals. If convicted, defendant might be in prison for up to six months unless the decoration he lied about was a medal of honor, in which case the imprisonment could be up to one year in prison. Six months felony, though. Felony, wow. a federal uh, I'm sorry, a federal misdemeanor. Okay. It's a federal misdemeanor. Anything federally, though, is a, a, a big charge. Wow. Whether it's a, a felony or a misdemeanor. Okay. What is stolen valor? Stolen valor is essentially a lie. It involves falsely claiming military service, rank, recognition, or even someone else's identity. Last, last one. How do you prove someone served in Vietnam? Review personnel records for proof of service. RVN, Republic of Vietnam, RVN. To verify services in the RVM, review the veteran's DD-214, certificate of release or discharge from active duty. If determined uh, appropriate service, such as foreign service, Republic of Vietnam is shown. And, and we did that with, uh, with Rio Hatfield. Rio mm -hmm. Hatfield uh, shows that he served in Seoul, Korea. You know, and in 2011, when Dean King interviewed him, he said he served in Seoul, Korea as a sergeant. Never mentioned Vietnam or anything. Of course, when Dean King interviewed him, that's also when he started the story on Hubert Bay McCoy. Hubert Bay McCoy shot his grandfather, the police chief, in the back three times in a brothel. one. He turned around, shot, and killed Hubert Bay McCoy. Killed, killed him. Turned around, shot the man, and the man happened to be a McCoy. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. Well, he only he shot two men within two years. Uh, Chicken Allen Hatfield did the police chief. Shot two men in two years as police chief, and one of them was a McCoy. So, mm -hmm. um, after he got 
that story going in 2011, and it went and went and went. Nobody said nothing about it. I guess he figured, well, I can just might as well throw this out there. Next thing you know, in um, uh, it's been a couple years ago in TA services bios and different things, and Sheila will post some stuff. Mm -hmm. Sheila will post it at the back of the video. If you don't care, I'll okay. get you to do that for me. Okay. Uh, Sheila doesn't like nothing controversial. I know that sounds weird, and we're in a controversial <laughs> videos. But sometimes these videos have to be controversial. Yeah. But guys, it's like this. Uh, don't make the bed. You made the bed lie in it. Yeah. That's you, you, shame. you know, these people say this stuff. When you get caught up, don't get mad at the people that corrects it. Uh, but after the Hubert Bay story, later on, he come out and said, you'll see so Korea, but you'll see we're uh, served in the Vietnam War. Served in mm -hmm. the Vietnam War. Served in the Vietnam War. War means you, your boots are on the ground. You know, this gentleman, uh, Tim Walls. Walls, W-A-L-Z. Says that, uh, he says all this stuff about serving in war and all this and that. And he says, yeah, he was in Italy. And uh, guys, Italy is not in Iraq. Italy is not in Afghanistan. So Korea... It's not in Vietnam. And I just wanted to address this once again, because every time I see Stolen Valor, if you ever get a chance, guys, Google uh, YouTube Don Shipley. Yep. Don Shipley. This is a Navy SEAL, and that's what he's dedicated his life to, is going around Marines, Army, Navy, SEALs especially, calling them out for their military service and Stolen Valor. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, what, what does this get people? Somebody says, oh, who cares if he says he done this? Who cares? Anybody that's ever served in the military more than likely mm -hmm. cares. Anybody that's ever actually served yeah. would take offense to somebody like this. Now, and especially in a war, saying they served in a war zone. Because in war zones, people get killed. Mm -hmm. People get their arms blowed off. Legs blowed off, yeah. crippled for life. You know, we keep up with how many people's killed in Vietnam, how many people's killed in Korea, how many people's killed in Afghanistan or Iraq, World War One and Two. We keep up with that. How many's killed? We don't keep up with how many ain't got no legs, arms, eyes, ears, heads, partial heads or disfigured. Nobody keeps up with that. Nobody says nothing about that. You know, oh, we we had thirteen killed in Afghanistan. Sure did. And that's terrible. Look how many we had injured. Look at all the people over in Afghanistan that helped America. And then they left them there to uh, be reckoned with by the terrorists. Um, Sheila doesn't like the controversy as far as calling people out. But if we don't call them out, we continue to get the stories that we get from shotguns that was not Devil Ances or not the one that he's holding in the picture. Hubert Bay McCoy shooting somebody in the back. Hubert Bay McCoy was unarmed and was actually shot in the back of the head and killed. Mm -hmm. He was unarmed. Total lie. And you know, when we started to do this video, Sheila didn't want to do it. And, but these people had no problem doing the videos on Hubert Bay McCoy for 15 years. 10, 15 years, ever how long it's been. Nobody had no problem doing those stories. So why should I feel bad when we've got the military record? We got a board. We've got a board in our museum. Of course, the museum's not open right now, but it tells about people, narcissists, just like Devil Ants was. And, and ask me, there's a video going way back and says, why would I do that for? Why would I do that for? Well, for publicity. For publicity. For attention. For credibility. Because when you tell people you served in a war or you did this, they, they tend to respect you more. They tend to trust you more. Yeah. They tend to honor you more. There's some that make believes. Stolen Valor people that goes out just on Veterans Day and 
Marine Corps birthday, Army birthday, Navy, and go to bars to get free drinks. It means at least they get free drinks. Some people does it for bigger things, to try to impress the CEOs of these big companies, the presidents of these big, large, huge companies, and says, hey, served in Vietnam, signed a peace treaty, done all these things, and it gives them credibility. It gives them credibility until they are caught. Until they are caught. Stand right there, because I don't want to show it, but there's the Freedom of Information Act. You don't have to show it. It shows that it's there. Yeah. There is the man's DD-214. There is the man's DD-214. And it shows that he served in Seoul, Korea. It shows that he never served. I was trying to find mine, baby. Uh, yeah, I uh, see it. Sorry. It shows that he never served. It's not only what it shows, it's what it don't show. And it, it, it shows that he never served in Vietnam. But Sheila will post some of these papers at the back. So you can see, and then people wonder why I get so upset. And that's where some of these Hatfield stories have come from, from the years, over the last 24 years especially. This is one of the spokespeople for the Pike County Tourism. He sits at the cabin with Ron McCoy, the one that filed the lawsuit, one of them that filed the lawsuit against Barbara and Jim Vance, Vance's, and says it was the first time the Hatfields and McCoys were back in court. He's there with William Keith Hatfield that says that Devil Ants was in 1911 Life magazine. We've never found. He says that Jim McCoy was a peacemaker and uh, Sam McCoy. And then he put the monument, had the historical marker put on Jim McCoy's grave, on the, on the wrong grave. We've got videos on all of this. we got videos where I'm actually talking to Mr. Hatfield on the phone. And he hangs up on me and then calls back and interesting topic and after i watched don shipley and the way he gets I, I couldn't understand when i got off the phone i was so i was just shaking mm -hmm. and then I, after that a year or two later i was watching john Sh uh, don shipley and he's sitting there shaking when he gets these make-believes these liars on the phone and i'm thinking that's exactly it just there's something about it it just it's not right i can tell you that yeah. it's not right and, uh, you know, the man's never apologized to none of the family, none of the Hubert Bay McCoy's family for starting to tell that their father and their uncle and their grandfather and so forth uh, shot and killed a man, shot him in the back. They, they've never corrected that. Those slanders, lies, never corrected that, never corrected his military record. If you'll Google Hatfield McCoy Foundation, I think it is. And then look, meet meet our group or meet uh, meet us or something. Click on it. She'll show you a, a picture. It's been changed. It's been changed, but it uh, still says served in the Vietnam War. In Seoul, Korea, they've added. But you, you can't serve in the Vietnam War while you're in Korea. You can't serve in Iraq when you're in Italy. Stolen valor, guys. And people should be prosecuted for it. And if they're not prosecuted, at least they should be called out. And they should be embarrassed. They should be degraded. They should never be trusted. Because when you would do something like that, you'll do anything. That's the most dishonorable thing against our veterans and people that did serve. People that served in war. I didn't serve in war. And I, it pisses me off. Imagine... If you're sitting there with one arm or one leg or your uncle or your dad or somebody, your son's been killed in war, and then you've got this man running around, suit and ties, both of them, both of them distinguished gentlemen, both of them distinguished and credible. You, you look at them, you think, whoa, that's an impressive man. They're liars. Nothing, nothing impressive about them. They're liars. Accomplish so many things in life that they don't have to lie. But they want to be this hero so bad. Just like Devil Ants Hatfield wanted to be a captain. Wanted such narcissism. Wanted to be a captain. Wanted, didn't want to be known as a deserter. Just like his family has tried to build him up 
and make sure that people don't didn't know that he was a deserter. Sheila will do the closing. Please like, subscribe, and share. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.